here. What's up, guys? Happy Monday, April 25th, 2022. Travel day for Major League Baseball, but but we still get seven games to chop up. So I'm going to talk about some of my favorite prize picks, MLB plays that are sticking out to me from this far out. We will get confirmed lineups and stuff later on the day. I'm going to adjust the spreadsheet live on the air this afternoon. So join me on the live stream 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central. And then we'll also talk a little bit of daily fantasy sports, game theory, FanDuel, DraftKings, and hey, even our new friends at Underdog will check out their boards as well. So let's discuss what's on the slate right now, and I'll get you cranked up, maybe get your brain turning with a few picks that I'm digging from this far out. You tell me what your favorite picks are, and tell me if you agree or disagree with what I got. Let's start things off with Kyle Gibson, Philadelphia Phillies pitcher today. He's going to be making his fourth start of the season, uh, and in his last two starts, he's hit 90 pitches, so that's a good sign that he stretched out. And potentially, Kyle Gibson go even deeper if uh, Joe Girardi finds him uh, fit and if he's feeling it. So I do like a big pitch count when I'm targeting a uh, pitcher out. Gibson features a near 60% ground ball rate against righty, so I like him to eat some outs here and hopefully stay efficient with his pitch count. And with 90 pitches in mind, if I go check out the K factory here, and I put 90 pitches as the projection for Kyle Gibson, I'm getting 6.6 .6 strikeouts, but more importantly, 19.41 outs and that's just on 90 pitches if i get to 100 pitches maybe i get even that much more of a cushion here so i do think uh, i like kyle gibson to go six innings today against the rockies so i'm gonna go ahead and take the over 17 and a half pitching outs for kyle gibson i wasn't sure if i was gonna mention shane bieber uh, in this video because I'm kind of on the fence. But I'm going to give you the numbers I'm working with. Maybe you guys let me know what you think here. Uh, first of all, his mama still don't like me. She likes everyone. At least that's what I heard. The number I was looking at was six strikeouts. Uh, so hear me out. Hey, Shane Bieber got to 86 pitches in that last start against the White Sox. Got to uh, six innings pitch. So uh, has a shot at being stretched out relatively. Uh, and we have seen him get strikeouts. He's been a strikeout per inning is so far. And the advanced metrics say, all right, he's still just fine. A 13.9% swinging strike rate on the season and a really nice 67% first pitch strike rate. Last year, uh, Bieber had a 16.2% uh, swinging strike rate and an overall K rate over 30%. And the reason why I'm interested in that is because this Angels lineup, although powerful, daunting, Shohei Otani, Mike Trout, guys like that are in it. And they're scary. They also have some strikeouts in this lineup, and uh, only Anthony Rendon and Mike Trout, uh, and I guess Tyler Wade, have strikeout rates of less than one in four against right-handed pitching in the course of the last uh, uh, year or so. So I like the thought of Bieber being in a strikeout plus matchup, and while this Angels lineup might get to him, I do like the the, the idea of him getting through six plus strikeout six is kind of a soft number maybe worse comes the worst we push at six but i do kind of like the thought of uh bieber getting to uh over six here remember 86 pitches that last start so we're gonna go ahead and give him 90 i think up to 95 pitches might be uh a, a range of outcome here but we'll stick at 90 for now 90 pitches against this projected lineup i'm getting eight and a half strikeouts uh, and i'm getting 19 outs he is featuring a m mostly fastball slider and that slider has really really been the pitch working for uh, Shane Bieber so far this season that slider has uh, an expected slugging rate of 305 last year that slider had an expected slugging rate of 297 this year he's got a 42% whiff rate on that pitch and last year the slider had a 45 and a half percent whiff rate he has had a little lower velocity on the fastball here and I would like that up a little bit more to set up the slider but so far still a 40 plus percent whiff rate on that pitch so I kind of like that. With that said, the Angels have profiled well against the slider. So that was the main reason why I was hesitant here. But I still think in a rough start, six strikeouts can get you there, especially the bottom of that lineup. 
Now I want to talk about two hitters from the same team I like to target as one a positively correlated handcuff to each other. Remember, you can only get up to two hitters from the same team, so you can't full stack a team. But I like these two for the Phillies. So going back to the Gibson game against the Rockies, the Phillies are going to see Kyle Freeland for the second time uh, in as many starts for him. And Kyle Freeland, uh, oddly enough, is a guy that might be helped by Coors Field, right? We think of Coors Field as this big hitters park but it's mainly because of a ginormous outfield last year kyle freeland he gave up 20 home runs in total hey if he would have pitched in philly citizens bank park he would have gave up another six homers and this season he's allowed just one homer uh if he would have pitched all those games in citizens bank park in philadelphia he would have gave up four Records is low key helping Kyle Freeland keep the ball in the park, and that's something to be mindful of because the two of the hitters I like against Kyle Freeland today are popping in my home run projection model the bomb detector. Reese Hoskins and Nick Castellanos are projected over that magic number of four and there's not many hitters on this slate with a four plus rating on the bomb detector so they stand out quick fast in a hurry so the lines i'm going to target on prize picks are going to be reese hoskins over six and a half fantasy points and nick castellanos also over six and a half fantasy points lastly i'm going to talk to you guys about starling Marte, five and a half fantasy points as a line on prize picks so far that is a chip in a chair for a stolen base. What? Hey, on price picks, a stolen base is worth five fantasy points. So we're looking for a hit by pitch, a walk, or how about an infield single? I know it's kind of weird to target an infield single, but check this out. Miles Michaelis on the bump for the Cardinals today. Marte projected to bat second. So we'll get that first inning uh, at bat and the second most guaranteed plate appearances on the team and while michaelis doesn't allow uh, a high batting average he does not strike hitters out just an 18.8 percent k rate to righties last year so gonna let you put the ball in play and since last july when you look at hitters that have put the ball in play only two guys since July have more infield hits than Starling Marte. That's Abraham Toro and Randy Arozarena, who has like seven this year. That's kind of dumb. In that same time frame, Starling Marte has stolen 39 bases. He has swiped 39 bags. That's actually dumb. So I think, hey, Yadi Molina's last year. If Yachty's behind the dish, I can see Starling Marte trying to test the uh, the gun of old uh, Yachty. So I do like the thought of Starling Marte's five and a half fantasy points because a stolen base gets us 99% uh, of the way there. I like the odds of Marte putting the ball in play. So putting the ball in play, good things happen. Uh, give me a shot at Starling Marte five and a half fantasy points. What do you guys think? You guys want to not test Yachty's arm still? I'm, I'm okay with... Uh, uh, living on the dangerous side. Hey, I want to remind you guys when it comes to baseball picks on price picks, I can't stress this enough, uh, especially for hitters. We're banking on four or five batted ball events, so the variance is higher, the success rate far lower. Flex only out here. Uh, maybe, maybe if you want to throw, you know, three man power play or something like that, you rotate two man power plays uh, just to kind of cover mix and match uh for the picks today though remember has to be at least two teams so you gotta get away from the philly stack and, and gibson um to really accomplish that but you can be creative in how you put these cards together maybe come up with some picks that you like yourself uh baseball is baseball man it can be great some days and it can be frustrating the next uh, but that's what I got today, man. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of these videos? I know there's not a lot of uh, baseball prize picks content out there. So if you want to keep seeing these videos, hey, let me know. Leave a comment below. Jazz it up. Interact with it. Engage with it. Leave comments. Uh, hit that thumbs up. Uh, and uh, that'll let me know that we need to add this to the rotation here. So we're trying some stuff out when it comes to delivering content, serving content for baseball on this channel. Uh, and... Uh, it's all about you guys. You guys are the community. But that's all I got. I'll be back later this afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Central. We'll be live. 
chopping up tonight's MLB slate. Remember FanDuel, DraftKings, different start times today. They've been doing that. I love you guys. Good luck. God bless. Go win some money.